YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bray Double J. Hey, I'm back, y'all. So, today we're doing a tutorial video on sewing. Um, I'm gonna put pictures here of my inspiration, but I'm kind of gonna be like remixing it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of jean. Um, you gonna see, you gonna see in the video, but let's go ahead and get to it. So I went ahead and laid out what I cut yesterday. Um, this top right here, I got from Walmart for seven dollars. Um, in a men's section, um, the top is a large. Um, this corset piece that I made from another shirt that I did. Um, I'll put a picture here of the shirt that I made from this pattern. Um, this is a size medium. So this top will be for a size medium, but of course the top will be like oversized because it's supposed to be baggy at the top. But yeah. These are the bottoms that I'm making to match the top. Um, these are some jeans that's a bit too small for me it's a size 13 um so yeah of course you see the jeans are smaller and then the actual warm-ups the warm-up is a size large as well is the matching pair to go with the shirt from walmart it was seven dollars as well and this gray piece up here is the triangle i'm going to be adding just like I said in the bottom of the shirt, I'm going to be adding dark blue jean strips down the middle and one on the side and one on that side. That's going to be the back piece. You see how this is the front piece? That's the back piece to go at the top. But yeah, and it's just regular sweatpants. It's scrunched at the bottom. Sorry, forgive me. I know my toes are not done, but don't look too hard. It's scrunched at the bottom and both legs are like that. Of course, you know how sweatpants look. Oh yeah, and I made sure I didn't cut um all the way down because I still wanted the pocket. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. I never seen nothing like this before. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Of course, I think I am going to gather a little bit um right here to make it fit. I'm going to gather it in right here just a little bit. It's going to be an even gather all the way around. But yeah. So starting off with the front of the corset, I went ahead and made lines on where I wanted the jean boning to go on the corset. So I measured from the bottom. I measured two inches over and took the line up. Then I measured three inches for the next line. Then I did the same thing, starting from this side over. I did the same thing. So yeah, these lines right here is where the jean bonnet is going to go. Now, this is the back of the corset. I started off by measuring from the bottom where the middle lands. Um, for the back of the corset, I put a line right up the middle. And then from the middle, I measured three inches. No four inches over I'm sorry and then put a line right here and I did the same thing start from the other side four inches over this way and then I put a line right there so in the back on the back I'm gonna have one two three jean boning strips for the back and then all of the strips should be about an inch and a half wide so don't worry about you know how long it needs to be as long as it's long enough to fit you know on the part where the bone is going to go okay so i'm starting with this line right here i'm going to place um the jean piece a little bit like not right on the line but a little bit over the line 
but when I start sewing, I'm gonna make sure I sew. So the line is right here. I'm gonna make sure I sew right beside the line on the on the left hand side. Okay, the left hand side of the line. So this is the line. I will be sewing right beside it on the left hand side of the line. that's sold now I am going to fold it twice so one fold and then two fold if you have a double needle you can just skip like sewing one side and sewing the other side if you have a double needle at this point you can use your double needle and you can sew straight down if you have a double needle a double needle is when it have two needles right beside each other instead of just one now i did have one but i've been making a lot of masks so they broke so yeah i'm just working with one needle right now and show you how to do it like that That's one boning piece down. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the boning pieces off camera since I already showed you how to do it. I'm going to do the boning pieces for the back and finish these up for the front as well. So, I'll catch you back when I'm finished. Okay, so, I know you guys are looking at these pins like, Rihanna, hold on, you're moving too fast. Where you at? So, let me catch you up. Before I left, I told you I was going to go ahead and finish doing all the, the jean piping for the bottom of the corset. And I did that. All of it is finished. It kind of looked weird because it's like pulled inside out. And I did that. You see? And then I went ahead and so the front corset to the back of the corset so that's the same right there for the side same i went ahead and sewed it together and then i went ahead and gathered the top of the the top of the sweater i went ahead and gathered the middle of the back of the sweater and i went ahead and gathered under each each boob on the top of the sweater because remember the top of the sweat the sweater was baggy so it should be gathered under the boob in the middle in the middle of the back that's where I gathered it okay and after I got gathered it I pinned it to the corset so that's what all of these pins are for um the way I gathered it I just gathered it with the pins but if you know how to gather it on the sewing machine you can do that
is the top. I'm really proud of myself. I am about to go ahead and finish it up. Um, right now, I don't feel like I need to put this part on video, but I'm going to show you guys where I'm at right now and what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to come back to you guys and show y'all how I look on the mannequin. So, I just... Okay, so... You see where it's gathered at? You can see this part. The only thing I just did was did a um, stitch to hold down my gathers. And to hold the part where I wanted it to be attached to the other side of the top. So, right now, right now what I'm about to do is serge... I'm going to just serge all of these seams that I got straight stitched. And then I'm going to finish up the bottom by serging it. And then um, folding it down and doing a stitch. And that's going to be the end of the top. Yeah. But I'll come back to you guys. Show y'all how I look on a mannequin. And then that's going to wrap it up for this video. And then we're going to do a part two um, on how I do the matching pants. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are back, and I love how it turned out. I kind of like the way I did it better than um, boy, if you don't get what should I call it um, the better than the um, inspiration, better than the inspiration photo that I showed you in the beginning. I kind of like the way I did it better. I like the way it turned out better because let me explain this. So remember I told you I got a size of large in this sweater in the men's section at Walmart and I used the women's size medium um, pattern for the waist. And it turned out it made the top a lot baggier than the waist. So I like that because it kind of cinched in the waist. And I like that. I love it. Like, I love it. So, the size for this shirt would be a medium, but for you girls that's a size medium and, you know, tops, it would be better for someone with some, you know, some, some, a lot going on up here, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, yeah, I really love this top. I love the way it turned out a lot better than my inspiration picture, um, yeah, in another video, I'm going to be showing you the bottoms to go with this top. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can find a model and um, do a, a third video and have a little photo shoot. Record myself doing a little photo shoot with my model. Um, yeah. So it's going to be three videos on this one outfit. Y'all ready? Y'all gonna stay in there with me to the end to see it all put together. Stay in there with me. Stay in there with me, please, please. But yeah, I'm so excited, excited about this outfit. But one thing I didn't do in the video that I'm gonna go back and do, I'm probably not gonna record myself doing this, but I'm gonna tell you. So if you guys are following along with me to make this top, you'll know what to do. So, okay. You see this part right here, right? So, because the waist part is so tight and this is so baggy, it kind of like falls and covers. I don't like that. I want to see that part right there in the middle. I want to see, you know, I want to see it. So, what I am going to do is get some, um... I don't know the name of it, but you know the little piping or wire things that be in bras. Like, it'd be, like, right there at the bottom of the bra. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to insert that right here on this side of the cup and on this side of the cup. And that will help, you know, support this bottom part to, you know, so you can still see it on a person. And it'll also help hold the person boobs up, too, and they'll look right in the actual top. So, yeah. I can't wait to put this on somebody. I really can't wait. Can't wait. But yeah. 
that's what I'm going to do right there. I don't have it on me right now, so that's why I'm not going to put it in this video. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and put it on YouTube. But um, if y'all want to know how to insert it, just um, put comments down below. And I'll do another video on making another top. If I get other people that want this top and they want me to make a top for them, I'll do another video um, recording the process again. And... I'll be more in detail on how to do, you know, this part. But, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. You guys let me know what you think because I am excited about this outfit. I'm excited. I'm excited about this outfit. Yeah. I really love how this turned out. I'm about to call my mom and call my auntie now and show them, see what they say. All right, bye. <laughs>